ACDC. Brilliant. You shook me all night long on XFM 104.9. Well, this show is a rockin'. It is. It is. Medusa Vice, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Quick, um, query for you. This is from, uh, Jay. He's got a problem here. Um, he says, uh, my parents won't let me ditch my studies. He's currently reading modern languages at London University. Sure. He wants to follow his dream, but his parents won't let him, of being a dancer. Carl. Worse than that, he says that they're trying to arrange a marriage to a bunch of, uh, minging daughters of people they know from good families. He doesn't know what to do, so he's got the arranged marriage coming along and he's also got, you know, he basically wants to, you know, wants to be a dancer. His parents are forcing him into, um, something more practical. Well, the first thing, right, I don't think- Live the, your dreams? The arranged marriage thing is such a bad idea. Okay. Cause mm. I think too many people go on looks. Right. And then you soon get bored of that mm -hmm. and you find out the person who you're knocking about with. It's actually not your type. Right. Why don't you arrange marriages for people? Well, uh, uh, I'm just saying, right, so I'd say, uh, Jay, go along with that. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. I mean, if they're really ugly, then, you know, don't go along with it, but if they're half bad, yeah. put up with it. That's <laughs> right. The dancing- Brilliant. Right. <laughs> that's that solved. Brilliant. I like to be a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> After I did the boxing, right, I joined, uh, joined a dancing thing just near, um, Man United's ground, right, called Twiggies. <laughs> um, <laughs> went it? along, I wanted to learn some moves. How old were you? Well, it was when Michael Jackson was like, pretty big, so, about 80, 83, 84, 85, oh, yeah. something like that, around there. Um, wanted to do it, um, when I went, it was shut and it had become like a warehouse for uh, toilet rolls. <laughs> so in a way, I wonder what would have happened. Sorry, sorry, how is that an anecdote about you going through <laughs> dancing? <laughs> Well, You've I'm told me before, you what, you did boxing for a while, you did dancing for a while, you had <laughs> true fight in the boxing, you didn't <laughs> even get in the pl that's not an you yeah, Imagine if that was a film! <laughs> this is not as, um, a boy's dream of becoming a dancer. <laughs> oh, it's shut. Next on. I mean, you, how is that a story? Yeah, that was Billy Elliot. Do you think he would have won, <laughs> he'd have won quite as many awards? Yeah, yeah, a brilliant. Footloose. Alright, <laughs> yeah. I'm fed up, they've banned it. Let's go, oh, it's shut. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Splash yeah. dance. First, there was. Oh, it's a warehouse. <laughs> Never mind. You. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, you'll find something else. I, I can't, I think I got a go kart after that. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a motorised go-kart and kept myself busy with that. So, <laughs> <laughs> there's always, there's always all those Just things. think, Alan Bennett has to sit down and really sweat over his stories. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, just opens his mouth. You are a living Alan Bennett character. So that's uh, that. So that's that solved. Well, Jay, don't worry about that. There's, um, no emotional there, emotional problems I can foresee. Uh, if you follow that advice. So the advice Sorry, there sir. is do an arranged marriage. If, if, if she's not If she's not ugly. minging. Yeah. If she's not completely minging. Yeah. Uh, and don't worry about dancing, get a go-kart, cheers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> XFM 104.9, we're not here. Um, this next clip is one of my favourite clips. Uh, look, it needs no introduction, here it is. What should we do next? What should we do next? It's too much. We, uh, get, do we need them out of the way? Let's get them out of the way. Yeah, just, uh, let's, again, uh, let's explain it again. If you're new, um, I'm sort of on a bit of a mission to find out you know, we've got a lot of animals and insects in the world and stuff. Yeah. Um, do we need them all? <laughs> it still amuses me. <laughs> so we've found out we've got to keep jellyfish. We've done octopus. Just yeah. said we've got to keep them. This week, snails. Do we need them? doing some research, uh -huh. right, um, I'm sort of working my way through different creatures and insects and stuff that's right. on the planet. Yeah. Right? Um, and finding out if we need them or not, right? Yeah. Do you know much about snails? Well, um, sea snails? Well, yeah. Snails in general. Um, I don't know much about snails, land snails, I a bit about sea snails, like whelks, top shells, that sort of thing. Would you say they're important? Um, what sort of sense do you mean by important? Say if we had to sort of get rid of some animals and insects and that, because we're running out of room. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because cause I'll tell you what I know about some snails. I don't know if this applies to sea snails as well. I mean, I called you today because a, a lot of other places are, are shut. Yeah. Right? So, um, I know, um, they like to eat stamps, apparently. The glue on stamps. They right. love it. Right? Right. Um, apparently a lot of, um, letters and stuff aren't getting to where they're meant to be getting because snails are crawling into... Letterboxes and eating right. stamps. That obviously doesn't apply to the sea ones. Mm. 
but that, that's a problem they're causing. Alright. Oh, uh, you, were you aware of that? No. I, I don't know. That. But you're glad you answered the phone today. Right. They love beer. Beer, yeah. Who doesn't? And also, I don't know if this is right, but I heard that they sleep for 13 years, or can do. Right, I've... I wouldn't know if they can sleep for 13 years or not, but... I mean, sea snails are pretty important, yeah, they're, they're, they do quite a good job in the sea, they, uh, um, graze on algae, in there. But, They but provide food for other, other animals. I mean, you can say that about any fish, you know, oh, any animal, why do they, why do they exist? Would, would you be yeah. upset if, you know, someone said, we're getting rid of them? Oh, yeah, yeah. You would they're, be. They're an animal, you know, I wouldn't... Forget being like favouritism and all that I get for them, right? There'll yeah. be other things knocking around you can sort of spend your time looking after. You'll still have a job, don't be worrying about that. Because I'm not going to get rid of all the fish. Jellyfish need looking after, so you're safe. Yeah. But do we need them? Come on, there's loads of people saying, come on, we've got to move on through the animals, and you're holding them up saying, well, I, I want to keep them. Well, who's, who's saying we need to... That just sounds a bit, just sounds a bit crazy to me. Just, just imagine. Do you know what I mean? And, and they would come to you because you're working in an aquarium, so they'd, they'd be asking for your advice. Right. And you're slowing it down. Well, they ask for my advice and I'm giving it to them, so, you know, that's what I think, anyway. Yeah, but snails, you know, I mean, like I say, they, they drink beer and that, you know. What do, what do they do apart from uh, some food for, for a whelk? They were, they were around, their descendants were around a lot longer, uh, longer than we have been. Yeah, they've been around a long time, but what have they done? Well, they survived that long, so they must be doing something pretty good. Well, apparently they sleep for 13 years, so really, even though they've been around for ages... I, 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 I think that sounds a bit... They only sleep for 13 years. Not all, I mean, not all of them, just, just, the, just the tired ones. So, snails, do we need them? Well, yeah, I just think they've got a, just as, you know, it's not for us to say, do we need them or not, we can't just... So, I'll see, you think we should keep them? Yeah, definitely. Go, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm proud of you. That he was, was getting really quite annoyed. I know. <laughs> Why did he, what did he think he was doing? What? <laughs> Just, I don't know what you tell these people. I mean, you don't get their permission to play this out, do you? You well, the him. thing is, right, <laughs> I, yeah, I sort of told him what it was about, but we won't say who he is or where he works, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just needed to speak so, to someone who knows. <laughs> I know the fact that you were trying to get an answer out of him by suggesting that he would be <laughs> safe, because he could look after Jenny Fish if he gave the okay to destroy snails. <laughs> he was I, getting livid, you can oh, tell. Oh, God. Brilliant. So, so he's been around a long time, but what have they done? <laughs> well, well see, right, last week when I did Do We Need Em, um, do you know when I called up, um, one of the museums in a science museum? Yeah, are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, I, w I wanted to tell you before when the song was on, but you're so busy listening to it. Yeah, oh, oh, to... oh, was I so busy listening to a song I was playing? Yeah, but we're doing a radio show, aren't All right, we? what's your point? <laughs> well, I just wanted to say, she emailed in to say I got her name wrong, so I'm just apologising for that. What did you just call her? I think I called her Jessica. What was her name? I don't know, I've got it on email somewhere. Well, this is not an apology! <laughs> no, yeah, I'm You've just got saying... it wrong again! You've not even said her real name! How is that an apology? Well, I remember, I read the email, so, uh, yeah, I-, I But I, uh, who are you apologizing to? Apologizing to? I think her name's Jackie, I think. Oh, you've got it wrong again, haven't ya? you? Well, uh, well, anyway, and she just said if you, you know, if you want to see dinosaurs and that, go to the, uh, museum. You were complaining about that as well, weren't you? You went to a museum and there was too many dinosaurs. You just said, he said you just need four. <laughs> no, well, Steve, have you been to the one at, <laughs> in Knightsbridge? I think this so. This one that I called up, right? It's nice. You go in, you get a good collection of stuff. You walk in, there's three or four dinosaurs. You've had enough, right? <laughs> go to, I went into New York, right? I went to the museum there, hundreds of them. You can't <laughs> move for dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like they're responsible for them being extinct. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of them, so all I'm saying is, if you want to see a dinosaur, um, go to the one near Knightsbridge, they've got a nice selection, some old vases and stuff, <laughs> it's worth going, so... <laughs> that, that was great, Carl, play a record, well, well done. Bit of, uh, bit of Amy Man. Oh, I'm obsessed with this song, Red Vines, it's, it's brilliant.